Burns and this is my off-the-track thoroughbred prisoner. I've had him for a little over a year now and we've had some pretty great adventures. I started riding back in 98 and did endurance and then I started taking lessons at an English barn and fell in love with jumping. In fact my first introduction to that was when my mom made the mistake of buying me the last 1999 issue of Practical Horseman with Denny Emerson on the cover and I fell in love with the sport of eventing. I've been jumping ever since, haven't taken a break of riding since I started, and I even went back east and rode for a while when I finished with high school. I've competed prelim, and have since been riding babies and young horses and green ones, problem horses, and I'm looking forward to getting back into the competition ring with this new partner right here. racetrack here in Idaho back in 2008. It's actually where I met my husband who's a racehorse trainer and let me tell you having easy access to a thousand beautiful thoroughbreds every day is a little overwhelming. I wish I could bring them all home but when this guy became available last July I knew I had to have him. He's been doing really well. He's already good at jumping jump or, jumps around three six and we can do a whole course around three foot. I've been trying to take it slow with him to make sure there aren't any holes in our training so that as we move up the levels, he'll be ready for everything that I ask of him. He's sensitive. He's a little bit of a drama queen sometimes, but overall he's been a really good partner. He's good on the trails. He's fancy in the dressage ring. And most of all, he's fun for me to ride every day. Yeah. For those of you that want to know what we're all about, it's like this, yo. This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 15%. Girl. 
A recent Sports Illustrated survey indicated that Idaho residents were the only residents of a state in the entire nation that was not afraid of gorillas. Are you or are you not afraid of gorillas? Why would you be afraid of those? I just wanted to say thank you to everybody at Practical Horsemen and Silva and Boyd for this amazing opportunity. Hopefully we'll see you soon.